Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about how to diagnose acid reflux in babies. Now, acid reflux, or gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, is a very common problem in babies. To some extent, we think that some degree of gastroesophageal reflux is normal. It may actually have a role in putting good, healthy bacteria in the airway where it can help fight off bad bacteria and other airway disease. That said, for a good number of infants, it becomes problematic, and the acid can cause problems, including uh, inflammation of the airway, chronic cough, wheezing, poor feeding, weight loss, excessive crying, and so in those babies, we want to try and figure out what's going on so we can do some things to make it better. The diagnosis of reflux is not always straightforward. Sometimes it's easy. You got a baby who's spitting up all the time, large amounts. They cry when they feed. That's a straightforward one. But spitting up in and of itself is very normal. You got a baby who spits up some after every feed but is totally happy, doesn't have any airway symptoms at all. Nobody's really going to want to treat that baby. There's nothing there to treat. It's just a spitter, what we call a happy spitter in pediatrics. Uh, that said, some babies have acid reflux disease and are not spitting up at all. What happens is the reflux comes right up to this level and then causes problems in the back of the throat or the nose or the lungs and never really comes out the mouth to tell you that it's there. Those babies may swallow repeatedly after they eat. They may have a look of discomfort on their face. They may arch and actually seem to be miserable. When that occurs, we call it Sandifer's syndrome. Uh, those babies may be diagnosed with a trial of therapy. We can also do a study called a barium swallow, where we have the baby go to the radiology suite. We give them some formula that has a um, radio visible, a radio opaque tracer in it, barium, and then we can take x-rays and see where it goes. And once it goes down, does it come back up? Now, that study may be positive in babies who really aren't having clinical problems. So you want to make sure that that's always correlated with what's happening with the baby in the real world. The study itself doesn't mean that you have something you need to treat, but it can help you out. Now, in really severe cases of gastroesophageal reflux disease, the baby may be hospitalized or have an outpatient procedure to measure stomach acid in the esophagus. Uh, alternately, pressures within the esophagus can be measured. There are several devices that can be put right down the nose to follow the esophagus into the stomach and then give signals to a computer to say what's happening. These tests are done quite rarely, usually in babies who have complicated disease where acid reflux has not been fixed by more conservative measures or where we're considering surgery to fix the reflux. Talking about how to diagnose acid reflux in babies, I'm Dr. David Hill.